Hello friends. In this video, we will study the different sources of errors in the measurement. So let us start with our topic. Whenever we are doing any type of measurement, then the result of the measurement is always affected by the error and these errors they can occur due to various factors so here we will study the various sources due to which the errors can occur in the measurement system now these sources of errors they can be broadly classified into three categories one is the natural errors second is the human errors and third is the instrument errors so the sources of errors which are natural they come under the natural errors or natural sources of errors and if the errors are occurring due to the instruments then instrument are the sources of errors and if the error is occurring due to the human mistakes then humans are the sources of the errors so these sources of errors they are classified into natural sources of errors instrument sources of errors and third is the human sources of errors So errors which are occurring due to the natural uh, environment like uh, if there is any change in the environmental conditions surrounding the instrument like if the wind speed is changing, if the humidity of the air is changing, if there is any change in the pressure of the air or temperature or if there are any uh, magnetic or electric field is present around the instrument then due to these changes in the environmental conditions if errors are occurring in the instrument readings then they are called the natural errors. So if we talk about the, the sources of errors which are uh, due to the environment they are like So these natural errors, they are caused by the environmental conditions or significant change in the environmental conditions. And what are these environmental conditions which can generate these errors? It can be the wind speed. It can be the air temperature. It can be the atmospheric pressure. Humidity, gravity of the earth. environmental conditions which can generate the natural errors in the instrument if there is any change in these environmental condition they will have an effect on the working of the instrument let's take an example of the sunlight if the instrument is kept in an intense direct sunlight then this direct sunlight it can cause the expansion of the parts or the components of the instrument and due to that expansion of the instrument its readings can change okay so this uh, sunlight because it is a natural factor so error occurring due to it will be called a natural error so we can have in this category the intense direct sunlight also Now how we 
we can reduce this uh, effect the effect of the natural errors like uh, in the case of direct sunlight we can uh, take an example like uh, to reduce this error we can do the experiment or we can take the readings at the time of uh, cloudy environment is there or when the sunlight angles are different and we can avoid this direct sunlight uh, putting on the instrument we can take different angles when the sunlight is sloped or the angle is reduced it is at 45 degrees degree then we can uh, take the readings from the instrument also like wind speed so we can perform the experiment in a closed environment we can avoid open environment conditions then temperature so we can also maintain the temperature of the laboratory in the laboratory we can uh, take the temperature atmospheric pressure also we can maintain humidity also we can all reduce those conditions which are causing these errors okay we can avoid those conditions so these are the natural sources of errors due to which means due to the changes in the environmental conditions these errors are occurring next type of sources of errors are the instrumental sources Now these instrumental errors they occur due to the defect in the instrument which is used for the measurement like if there is any defect in the indication of the reading and uh, if there is any defect in the components or the circuitry of the instrument so due to that if the error is occurring that will be called an instrumental error. So these errors they are caused due to the imperfectly constructed adjusted or calibrated equipment. If the equipment is not calibrated it will not give an accurate result. If it is imperfectly constructed if there is any default in it any defect is present in the instrument then also it will give the wrong readings. Now we can reduce these uh, errors, these instrumental errors by leveling the instrument means by keeping the instrument over a flat surface. Also if the surface of the instrument is rough, it is not clean uh, or it is not smooth then only errors can occur so we can smooth the surface of the instrument okay. So these instrumental errors they can be reduced by leveling the instrument if the defect is present in the construction of the instrument so these instrumental errors they can be reduced by leveling the instrument means uh, keeping the instrument at a flat surface the surface is not vibrating okay also uh, because the instru it is due to the instrument so we can time to time we can calibrate the instrument also if the instrument is not in use for a long time like it's for two three months we are not using that instrument so there will be like uh, rusting can occur in the parts of the instrument so time to time we have to maintain the uh, instrument you may have to do the maintenance of the instrument and also we have to calibrate the instrument so that the whenever we are using that instrument it will give us the accurate result so these errors they can be instrument by timely calibration of the instrument Also, uh, but another cause of these instrumental error is like when the uh, instrument is uh, for a long time it is exposed to the changes in the temperature means uh, for a long time uh, high temperature is being provided to the instrument. So due to that high temperature the expansion can occur in the uh, parts of the instrument. Okay. So another reason of this is prolonged storage and exposure to rapid changes in the temperature.
so these are the instrumental sources of the errors which are occurring due to the default or due to the imperfection of the instrument and these errors are caused at the time of constructing construction of that instrument okay and they can be reduced by calibrating the instrument and by timely checking it okay the next type of sources of errors are the human errors so these errors are caused by the observer who is taking the readings from the instrument at the time of taking the readings if the observer has done some mistake uh, at the time of recording like if he has taken uh, if he has write down some wrong readings okay in the case of decimal putting in the readings also if he has done some mistake and also at the time of setup of the instrument if he has wrongly connected the uh, the circuit then also the error can occur so these are the errors which are caused due to the uh, limitations or due to the activity of the observer so the cause of these human errors is the physical limitation of the observer like if the observer is doing the work over the instrument for a long period so he will be tired and at the time of taking the readings or at the time of working with that instrument he is not perfect in the uh, in that uh, working okay so due to the tiredness of the observer also due to the inconsistent setup when he has set up the instrument if he has wrongly connected the instrument then also the errors can occur and due to the observation habits of the surveyor like if he has taking the readings from a glass material then he the instrument should be at the same level or where the observer eye is present so eye level of the observer and the instrument they should be at the same level so that the readings which he is taking they will be Uh, correct readings okay so these are the errors which are occurring due to the these other sources now how these human errors they can be reduced they can be reduced by training the observer that uh, to improve its uh, observational habits if uh, first we train the observer that how he is going to work with the uh, instrument how he is going to take the readings then if the observer is trained in his work then he can perfectly take the uh, results of the measurements okay also if the uh, like if the observer is tired then we can change the shift we can take another observer we can uh, who can take the readings of it so in this way these errors can be reduced so these are the various sources which due to which the errors can occur in the measurement now if we list all these errors then then the sources of errors will be like first is the defect in the instrument second is adjustment of an instrument third is the imperfection in the design of the instrument fourth source of error is the method of location of the instrument like if the instrument is located on a flat surface or on a rough surface 
is the environmental effects. So these are the various factors due to which the errors can occur in the measurement system or we can so, uh, say that these are the sources of the errors in the measurement. The defects in the instrument, if there is any defect in the instrument, if the adjustment of the instrument is changed, if there is any imperfection in the design of the instrument, if the method of location where the instrument is set up for the measurement that is uh, that can also create an error environmental effects are also there like wind hair uh, the temperature humidity error due to the properties of the object air error due to the surface finish of the object if the surface of the object is not smooth it is rough then it can also create an error and last is the observational errors which occur due to the mistake of the observer so these are the different sources of errors so in this video we studied the sources of errors in the measurement system so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you